I mean a player who gets the ball and hits the byline, yeah. who beats his man, who seems to enjoy dribbling past his man. Yeah. It's a bit of a throwback. We okay. haven't had them in a while. Mm-hmm. If you think about it. Yeah. I like that bit about him. Like he beats a man, yes. he's trying to do something, yes. and mm. then he's able, and then he's quick. Lay off the really? ball when you have to, pass it when you have to. I like that about him. Yeah, you know, one of the the things that I learned from watching other sports is some of the intangibles that define players is the ability to process. And I guess that's something that stood out even from the post match interview when Pep Guardiola was answering the question about Doku and and he talked about him how he's able to to just make the right decisions every time. I thought that when he came in the first few games, he looked a bit shy. He wasn't taking on players like maybe Pep Guardiola expected him to be. But this time around, when you look at him, he's getting past players. Chris Mepham had a really bad game yesterday. He he, he was manhandled literally <coughs> by, by, by Doku. And him, yes, getting the first goal, but also even creating the other shows mm. that he's got a different kind of vision that maybe, as you say, we haven't seen in, in a while. So credit to him on that. Really. Like he beats, and he yeah. seems to have a pass, both the short pass and the long and pass. Yes, yes, the long pass to to the Bernardo goal. Bernardo, yeah, yeah it, was, was it was nice. only two passes, I think, from Ederson to him, and then he he found him uh, on on good space and onside also. The timing was also right there. So I think they found a gem. Fifty five million is quite good for for a seventeen year old. Ah, now we have two two old school uh, players, a Haaland and uh, an old school winger. Now it's really it's really good for us looking at how he played the ball. And he not only gets you the goals, but he also gets to play other players mm. in the game. Looking at how, uh, si- yes, we expected this game to be a one-sided game, a one-sided uh, kind of for City. Yeah. But looking at how he he was decisive with the, with his decisions, especially the first goal, how he got to unlock the the, bo- the Bournemouth uh, defense because they were so solid at the, at the back. But once he got the the, the know how of how to unlock it, it mm. was over. Yeah, and uh, also there is this other guy, Bernardo Silva. Okay. Mm. Preach, brother, class. preach. <laughs> that guy is class. Preach. Look at preach. that chip. Hey. Yeah, it guy. went over the line. I, I thought it was uh, it was the Matias Nunes goal oh. until I went over the line. I saw it went over the line. Uh-huh. Him being able to dominate the wing, and then being able to come back and uh, bring the ball from the back and carry it over to the final third of the pitch just yeah. shows how much he can offer you. Yes. Mm. It's. Yeah. yeah, and maybe we, I can add something on Doku as well. So it one goal, I think, four assists on that game. Yeah, wow. yeah. one one was forced. <laughs> one. <laughs> yes, I thought he was <laughs> he was really good. I think something else he brings to this city team, as much as City is a great team, I think what he he brings something different. <laughs> he does. And pre- I think unpredictability mm-hmm. and just a, as you said, a player who can just get the ball, make the right decisions, and run with the ball. So the and un- for me, it's the unpredictability. Uh, unpredictability. So mm-hmm. it's just brings another dimension to city uh, to to city attacking and directness and directness yeah it kind of reminds me of mane prime mane when he was he was like at direct to us direct goal. to anakuja to namuona and he just takes you one two mm. and just goes for the goal so for me he's again a bargain a bargain another gem yes sami I, w- I wanted to ask teddy this question because on that left side left side he, he now replaces jack grealish do you think jack mm. grealish gets into the side again it uh, depends it with the game. It depends with what Pep wants. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because if once Pep wants to control the game more, I think he'll bring in, bring on Grealish. Yep. But if he wants more directness into a game, okay. mm. he brings on Doku. In the very, very big games, he starts Grealish because he likes control. Because Grealish keeps the ball, holds the ball, hogs the ball, lets everyone else come into play. Da, 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 da. Yeah. When he needs a place where we need chaos. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm. you, you need someone to beat a man yeah. where teams are 10 men behind the ball then you put Doku mm. yeah, I think it's it's a case of either so you either you have this or you have this yeah. yes but it's such a beautiful option to have like mm. you have to have this my, mine is just what what did Bernard what did what did Pep say after the City United he said we were so scared to lose Bernardo in the summer he's <laughs> irreplaceable <laughs> yeah. I could take 10 minutes talking about what he means to me and this team and we love him and then yesterday he spoke again he said listen and he's it's almost like he was listening to me. He said, where does he play? Plays on the left. Plays mm. on the right. Plays in the middle. In the middle plays everywhere. everywhere. He is a delight, that young man. And he destroyed United. Oh, oh, yo, yo, yo. oh he did. I, I didn't know how, how he found himself free on the left hand side. Oh. I, I just don't understand how. <laughs> they, they, they were doing that, that. What do you guys call it? Overload. That overload. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Overload. Yeah. yeah. They did it. They were like, Shush. Maliza. Ah, he's a, <laughs> he's a beautiful footballer. He's a beautiful, beautiful footballer to watch. Beautiful. Love him. 
I love him. I City has a few, you know, it has him and mm. Mr. Alvarez. Alvarez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You know those players who are who are like just, you know, they're in the my Jolton class. Yo, yo. Watu wa kujituma tu. Hakuna story, hakuna <laughs> nini. There's no, nah, nah, nah. no play with Joel Linton though. <laughs> <laughs> There's no play with Joel Linton like any. No, but that's the same thing. I I if you are told Bernardo Silva you don't think flair. That's not the thing. Not. It in no, but you don't think flair. If you, if I tell you today Bernardo Silva you don't think no, you think versatility. Yes. Yeah. You think his ability to do whatever the coach wants him to do. When you think Alvarez I think the same way. Yeah. A guy who does everything the coach wants him to do. Mm. That's the key for me for Bernardo Silva. What do you want me to do today? Left? Ah. Papers try to play him left back. You forget mm. last yeah, season. Remember, yes. yes. Mm. Like he, he's so willing. He's like, okay, so what do we do today?" Uh, oh, um uh, uh, uh KDB is not around. What do you want me? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, you I am there. Oh, there. That 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 kind of selflessness yeah. and just mm. let's do the job. Mm-hmm. Yes, there are kuna yao, you know, but you know, I I like on the left. No, 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 no. Yeah. Let's go. I like that bit about him. And even though it's just Bournemouth, okay, they they have won that in consecutive games against them, but they also made some rotation in the side and they didn't look any different again, which is really good to have. If you're looking at the other sides who are struggling, City have gotten into their groove right now, and it's pretty early, November. The last time out, we are talking about City not being good. They have already started cranking up that gear. And it's really early. I think it's eh? curtains right now and for the Premier League. Score that many goals and yes. Haaland doesn't score. And like he doesn't score and gets off Haaland at half-time. Haaland and Alvarez don't score. And Foden is there to, to come off from the bench and score. It's scary times. I think it's curtains for the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> You're calling it this early? Yes, November. Hey! Sure. They've already cranked up the, the gear. Oh, you're done. Brave, you are you're a brave I'm, I'm just waiting already, for that game against Liverpool. <laughs> you already know the sky is blue, but... Hey, Next, <laughs> this month, 